Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley and this is Martin Midlife Misadventures and today I'm going to can up some apple pie filling. I had not planned on doing this, but we were gifted some beautiful apples and like I told you, when the food comes in, especially if we're gifted it, we are getting it preserved immediately. I'm super excited because we did not buy one single solitary apple this summer. We never found them for less than $4 a pound. So apple pie filling is sounding really really good to me right now it just takes a few simple ingredients in fact our cost in this because the apples were free is a little bit of cornstarch sugar and some lime juice that's it and a little bit of time inside the water bath canner no pressure canner for this so i hope for any of you out there who you ha who haven't made pie fillings you will give them a try once you see how incredibly easy this is because this process that i'm doing can be done with any fruit you choose to can are you ready to get started let's do it <music> Okay, friends, for today's recipe, and this was a last minute thing for me because we were gifted all these beautiful apples. Do you see this? We have not been able to afford apples because they have not been less than $4 a pound in our area. So to receive these as a gift was amazing, okay? So I'm making apple pie filling on the fly. Now the recipe I usually use calls for six pounds of apples. I do not believe that's what I have here, but I will put the six pound recipe in the description below. And this recipe can be cut directly in half and it cooks up beautifully okay so we need apples cornstarch lemon or lime juice i'm using lime that's what i have on hand some cinnamon some sugar some allspice and some water that's it the first thing i need to do is peel these apples and chop them up the size i want them for my apple pie filling and i want to add i'm going to be keeping all of the peels and cores because we're going to make some apple cider vinegar all right, I've cut up all the apples. I'm leaving the chunks pretty big because you can always cut them down smaller later when you take them out of the can if you want them that way. And I feel like they stay just a little crisper if you leave them bigger, okay? So there, I'm probably looking at about three and a half, maybe four pounds here. And I'm gonna go ahead and to it, I'm adding two and a half cups of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon and a pinch of allspice. I have four cups of water over here and I'm gonna dump that in as well. I will be adding a little bit more water and some cornstarch later on in the process, but for now, we're gonna get this going. Is it going? Yeah, it's going gonna get this going on kind of a medium heat slowly stir it get it all incorporated and basically it's just you got to slowly cook it down that's all you do so let me get this mixed in and I'll check back in with you we are 10 minutes in it's looking really really good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons I'm using lime juice I recommend lemon juice but lime juice works fine I'm using it because that's what I have we're gonna let this go probably for another oh five ten minutes or so and then we're gonna add our cornstarch water look we've got a little bubbling going on here so what I have is I have a half a cup of cornstarch and I'm adding it to one cup of cool water and we're going to stir it really, really good. And then we're going to dump it into our apple mixture. This is what's going to gel it up and make it thicker. Okay, but you want to do this once the apples are getting a little bit tender and at that little boiling stage because once we get this incorporated, we're going to cut the heat and get ready to fill our mason jars. Get it all dumped in there and stir it up we're going to stir this for about two minutes all right friends we are totally ready for action we've got our apples we've got a little bit of vinegar and a cloth we've got our rings and bands we've got our lifter we've got the ladle so let's go ahead and get started 
just get one out here. And get it over here. Let's get our ladle. And we're going to do a half inch headspace on this, okay? Let me show you this. Look at how thick it's gotten. Isn't that delicious? I mean, oh, I kind of want to keep some out now to make an apple pie. All right, let's start filling. Here. See how thick it is? I get that one little thing. There we go. All right, once you have it full, you got to get in there and make sure you don't have any bubbles, okay? Check it out. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so now we've got our little paper towel. We're going to put a little vinegar on it. That's what this is. No vinegar. You don't want to. And now we're just going to wipe the, wipe the rim. Really good. Make sure you don't have any of that sugary syrup on the sides. We're going to get our lid and band here. You're going to put that fingertip tight. All right, we've got the canner loaded. I did pints, three quarter pints, and one little jelly jar is what I have down in there. Once this comes to a boil, that's when I'm going to start my timer. For pints, you only need to process for 15 minutes. Because of our elevation, I am going to process between 20 and 25 minutes. But that is it. I'll show you when they're done. Hey, our pie filling's done. I've let that water calm down quite a bit. So let's start pulling them out. Let's start with this one that's kind of on its side there. Oh, looks so good, guys. It just, it looks so good. Look at, oh my. I really, really hope that you will give pie fillings a try. So easy, fast, 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 fast. Like if you got a bushel of apples, man, in just like four hours, you could have them all canned and ready to go. Oops. Do you see that? I've got six pints, two three quarter pints back there in one jelly jar. That is a lot of pie filling. All right, friends, what do you think? Apple pie filling, any kind of fruit, filling can be made like this and I hope for those of you who aren't at least water bath canning that you'll give something like this a try. You do not need a water bath canner. You can just use a really large stock pot as long as you're able to get at least an inch of water over the top of your cans, okay? Please give it a try and most importantly, if somebody gives you a gift of food, do not waste it no matter what. If you can't get it in the freezer to preserve it or save it, Make sure you get it canned in any way, shape, or form you can because that is a true blessing when somebody gives you food. And I'm feeling really great about having nine jars of apple pie filling right now. We weren't able to buy any apples this year. We never found them for less than $4 a pound. So this was a really, really great gift for us to receive. And I really hope that you all will try making some pie filling. Any flavor, any kind, any flavor fruit, super easy, 20 minutes in a water bath. Give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and we are going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you.